Yesterday we got the news on the PlayStation 4 Pro, which is not the 4K or the Neo. It's the official title for the new upgraded PlayStation 4. Now, they specifically said this is not kicking off a new generation. This is sort of like a higher end version of a thing you love already. And a lot of people were really upset about this because it A, was uh, kind of under underwhelming, and B, a little more than they expected um, at the same time. I think it's a weird product because I think it's a, if, if you ever bought um, the same movie on DVD and then on Blu-ray, or you bought something like Wind Waker HD or Ocarina of Time 3DS or Twilight Princess HD, or pretty much any time a better version of a thing you have already is Did released. Did they just make an HD remaster of the PS4? Yes. That's exactly what they All did. Right, That's enough. literally exactly what they did. And I think the more you think about it like that, uh, the better it'll be. Um, but aside from that, they actually launched a, they're launching a slew of products that are basically for the high-end PlayStation fan. And they kind of quietly tucked a few of those under the announcement. Uh, there's new headphones, there's a new stand, a whole bunch of things. So if you're a hardcore PlayStation fan, we thought we'd run through how expensive this fall is going to be for you. Now it's assuming you buy everything. I know you're already in the comments being like, I'm not buying any of that junk. Idiot, right, stop being so fat. And I'm like, look, I'm working on it. He has, he has a lot of salads. I do, I really try. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at this fall and what it means to be a PlayStation fan. Okay. Uh, number one, you get the PlayStation 4 Pro, right? $399.99. Uh, not stupidly expensive. And yes, that's a great picture in the corner over there. That money is actual size. Um, so that's $400 if you really need that. A good way to uh, kind of swallow that pill is to trade in your PS4 currently. Uh, you can get like 180 bucks off of it on Amazon, so put that towards this and whatever you're going to do. Cool. Sounds good. So yep. you got 400 in there. That's not including tax or any of that. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, then, of course, you want to have PSVR. Yeah. Now, this is, is the high-end version of that. It comes with the PlayStation Eye, the Move controllers. You probably don't need all this, but let's just say you do. Um, it also comes with PlayStation Worlds. Uh, you can also buy Move controllers separately, which I didn't run down on this one. Um, either way, it's going to cost you are about they, the same. Are they new Move controllers? So they repackaged the Move controllers, finally. Uh, you can buy old refurbished ones. You can buy the ones that are okay. originally. So we heard a weird rumor that uh, the ones, the original launch Move controllers, uh, the batteries have actually rotted out in a lot of them on oh. the shelves, because that's what happens. They weren't really meant for something to stay uh, stay around for a long time. So there's that. Uh, so yeah, you're going to want a PSVR. There's the $400 bundle, which I pre-ordered, or the $500 bundle, which okay. comes with all the other, other so yeah, fun you're stuff. looking at about 500 bucks, regardless yes, how you go sure. about it. Uh, and then, of course, you need a TV. Yeah, now to this... Show, to show off all the... Uh, the yeah. HD. Yeah, the, you want a the UHD, UHD TV also. So this can go in a lot of different directions. I found one that's a pretty good deal. Samsung, pretty reliable TV company. This one's a 55-inch uh, Class 2160p 4K Smart UHD TV. Uh, you can get some Vizio junk for cheaper than that, or you can go crazy high-end and get one for $2,000. But let's but Brian, be moderate. Brian, yeah. I'm a Sony fanboy. I would never buy a Samsung TV. Oh, yeah, I should have done that. Well, yeah. that gets very expensive. Yeah, that I'm, gets... Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to save you a few bucks here. Okay, fair so enough. So let's go from there. All right. Uh, now, there's also a brand new PlayStation camera. I know I tucked one into the PlayStation uh, VR uh, launch bundle for 500 so you can sell that one off too. But this is the newly designed camera. It goes for 60 bucks. Uh, it does some even better tra tracking, and you can look up the stats on that. All right, cool. So there's that. Yeah, yep. and then you've got uh, you got to get some new headphones, get yep. some new cans. This is the new platinum headphone set, Ooh. Max. You and I have the the what the gold wireless. I ones, have the or? one that came before that. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is the even upgraded version of that. It's got 3D sound. Uh, it won't plug into your iPhone 7, so good luck with that. Ha! Uh, so there's that 160 dollars there. Now, right. what are you gonna do with all that? You gotta you gotta have somewhere to put your. You gotta uh, stand it up. Yep. You gotta get that stand. There it is. That Make stand your PS4 is... look like a gunk droid with yeah. this. $24 plastic thing. Uh, you know, I was like, this is like a pretty decent deal up until now, but it's like, I guess they really... This should be free always, forever, everywhere. This is like, com like come on. This Are you a, kidding yeah. me? This, is this, a, this isn't even a lump of plastic. This is like a sliver of plastic. So this is honestly, of all the tech news we got this week of how expensive the iPhone 7 Plus is and how expensive the 3D or the earbuds are, that is the thing that really people should be furious about. Because that $24 plastic dinner plate yeah. to put pretzels in is pathetic. Look at that right. thing. It looks, it looks like a jock strap. Yeah. Also, you can. I think you can still just prop your PS4 up on its on its ass there. It's yeah. It's not going to... Might tip over, but yeah, the, it still the, might tip over with this. The so. bottom of the PS4 Pro isn't curved. It's not like a bowling ball. Yeah. So you'll be okay with all that. Yeah. All right, so let's do the rundown. Uh, this is how much all of that stuff would cost you. Keep in mind, no games, no uh, no Last Guardian, nothing else. This is $1,844, not including tax, which if you live in California means double that number. Um, so yeah, this kind of sucks, but uh, most people won't buy all of it. But hey, 
PlayStation's going for the high-end consumer, and yeah. maybe that's you, and uh, start saving. As Ken Kutaragi once said, uh, I hate you. <laughs> I don't think he ever said that, Brian. That's not what he said. said at all. Uh, no, you will more work more hours. That's his official quote. <laughs>